Hello everyone, well today's doing rap video, um, so yeah, I was not really expected to do a uh, reaction video uh, very soon, um, but I was kind of wanting to do this yesterday, like, do a three in total, but nah, I just want to do the, I guess just want to do the, do just two, and then save this particular video for today, and then last night I get some other things done, like, do some more drawing and such, and now if I get to this video, and this video is called, after the fact, Blue and Gloom by Silver Quill. So yeah, this is uh, Silver Quill's uh, next for you in the uh, uh, Bloom and Gloom, Gloom uh, episode. Yeah, I really like his video, so I'm pretty excited to uh, watch this video today. And uh, yeah, speaking of like the LP season five, um, let's see, if, like for uh, all the six episodes we got so far, um, this is quick uh, heads up uh, with his, um quick notes of like which episodes are my favorite and least favorite so yeah like one one series we like from favorite to least favorite so yeah um my favorite so far is takes for the memories and then it goes to castle sweet castle um the cutie map uh blue and gloom and then the most wanted of uh, appaloosa's most wanted so yeah that's my um like list of favorites the not least favorite so far but then also um there isn't gonna be like a new uh, MPK Season 5 episode today, since it's going to take a week break, but next Saturday will be one, so on uh, the next Monday, uh, expect my reaction to that. Uh, but for now, let's get to the After the Fact over here. So, without further ado, let's get started. But first... Okay, so, let's react to After the Fact, Bloom and Gloom here, huh? In 3, 2, 1, play. Okay, so it's Hush now, little all sister, to blow by. Love by all you know. You'll never lose their friendship, like no matter it. where you go. Oh, there ain't no call to there. worry, so don't you cry or fret. A cutie mark won't change you, no matter what you get. <laughs> he's saying that. <laughs> oh, oh, I said he's doing some more construction in uh, the castle. <laughs> I like a thumbnail. Oh, I see a dying deer and something's screwed in the jar there. <laughs> Nice music player. It's been a while since Apple Bloom got center stage in an episode. Yeah, yeah. Last time she nearly got incinerated and or eaten. Oh yeah. So let's hope for happier times. Yeah. Hear ye, hear ye. This meeting of the Cutie Mark Crusaders is now in session. What's with her voice? Hmm? Uh, it seems Michelle Creeper is likewise growing up and her voice is changing. Oh yeah. It's not a flaw, but I'm going to need some time to get used to this new voice. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, what's up? Nothing. Except this letter from Bam C saying she's got her cutie mark. What? Really? Yeah. Oh. Guess we may not be seeing Babs for a while then. Hmm. I mean, she was brought on as a fourth crusader and now... Eh? Yeah. Though if you look closely, you'll realize that these are the most poorly designed scissors in the world. I can't help but wonder if Friends Forever 13 was prophetic. I need an adult. <laughs> I am an adult. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how horrifying. Ah, uh, there's uh, nothing like recycled humor to Hey kids, wanna see <laughs> oh, come on, we've already <laughs> Hell car. What the hell? Uh, uh car, what the hell are you Interrupt my story again, see what happens! I'll bet she grows up to be a celebrity stylist! Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, that's one of the dreams of youth. That once you know what you want to do, obviously you'll become super famous. But this optimism is short-lived as the Crusaders start asking tough questions and wondering about their own future. None more so than Apple Bloom, who has always been the most vulnerable to panic. Yeah. What if I finally get my cutie mark and I don't like it? What if I get my cutie mark and no pony likes me? <gasps> what if it's not an apple? Will I have to move out? Where will I live? Has she been taking extra lessons from Twilight? <laughs> and we get a pretty nice lullaby from Applejack, which I have to fault on logistics. A cutie what? mark won't change you, no matter what you get. Oh. Oh. Like, no! Do the mark to kitty! It's bigger for anything. And Apple Bloom awakens to a fresh day and a new edition. I got my cutie mark! I got my cutie mark! Wait, what? And then there's a cantankerous pest pony who comes to recruit Apple Bloom, who yeah. apparently had her dialogue written by Hideo Kojima. Twitter mites. Twitter mites? If it hadn't been for the what? revolution. Revolution. Pest ponies <laughs> like you and me are the only things keeping these live wires from destroying half of Equestria. Pest ponies? Psycho Mantis can read <laughs> people's minds. Psycho Mantis? Yeah. You're gonna need to stop repeating everything I say and pay attention to what <laughs> And I guess child labor laws mean nothing in Equestria because yeah, Apple Bloom is yeah. about to have a round with the electric Twitter mites. 
You yeah. know, I can either make a social media joke or an 80s pop culture reference. I'm sure you got the touch. The touch? No contest. Okay. Stan Bush, go! You got the touch! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna play that song. The problem is that Apple Bloom's unsure about this whole thing. I'm sure this job is real important, but I don't think I want to cut bugs for the rest of my life. Criminy girl, you protect the land from lightning flinging swarms with nothing but a steampunk vacuum. What yeah. more could you want? Well, this actually ties back to Sweetie Belle's comment about fame. It's one of the hallmarks of immaturity, prioritizing fame over substance. But mm. the passions we actively pursue usually draw out our energy to the point where you can either enjoy a hobby or a career based on that drive. Anyone who relies on attention usually abandons that pursuit quickly, and I don't always envy those who accomplish notoriety. Yeah. The pest pony may admit to a hard life, but he still did it without any apparent parades. But not all pests can be sealed in a bottle, as Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon follow the usual bullying tactic. Yeah. Since they can't make Apple Bloom insecure about being a blank flank, they now make her insecure about the mark itself. Some oh. ask when Apple Bloom and company will stop investing energy worrying about the hazing from two ponies who aren't worth acknowledging. The answer is, when the writers decide it's time to take these two out of the show. Because yeah. once the Crusaders take back that power from the bullies, the bullies have no reason to exist. Mm -hmm. But for now, Apple Bloom flees into Everfree, because she tends to do that a lot. And a mysterious yeah. voice offers to remove the mark, thereby dooming the now defenseless town. And this yeah. is quite the visual sequence. Of all the mm -hmm. times Ponyville's been destroyed, this may be the most impressive. And the fact yeah. that I have a basis for comparison is so depressing. Seems <laughs> Apple Bloom can't gather the bugs without her cutie mark and is apparently unable to turn on the machine. Is that yeah. thing cutie mark activated? Either I way, guess. it's game over for Apple Bloom. <laughs> oh, it's one of those episodes. Well, yeah. that's too bad. I like the idea of pest ponies who have to deal with Twitter mites. I mean, how often have fans wondered how sick. ponies power their technology? Pollution doesn't yeah. seem to be an issue. So what if all you need was a fresh jar of Twitter mites on hand to power everything? I'd like oh, yeah. to think that these things are part of the real world and Apple Bloom dreamt them up from memory. Because they'd yeah. be very useful. Wait, what? To me. <laughs> the... Forward, my might oh. motor minions. <laughs> Today, Canterlot falls. Oh, yeah, he still has the elk over now, man. Oh, dear. Oh, it's a dream. <laughs> oh, the bullets are never night. Oh. Doc, Doc, I think I'm going full villain. I had the wrong <laughs> dream again. Well, I wouldn't be concerned about Wait. such things. Um, why not? Because you're still asleep. What do you huh? mean? Huh? Wait, what? Oh, this is going to be vexing. So yeah, <laughs> Apple Bloom is going for no less than yeah, three dream that. within dream sequences as she witnesses her fears take form. She awakens to find that she has a potion making cutie mark. I'm just glad Princess Twilight's lessons finally paid off. Yep, there you go. Continuity. Continuity. And she goes to let her friends know. I know it's silly, but I always hope we get our cutie marks together. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Earning cutie marks as a group goes against the idea of individual talent. And even if you mm -hmm. went into this episode spoiler free, did anyone really think that Apple Bloom would just wake up to her cutie mark one day? Everything we've seen yeah. thus far says the cutie marks appear at a moment of personal revelation. You don't just wake up yeah. and say, oh, I know what I want to do with the rest of my life. Turns out Apple Bloom's dream friends want to give her the boot out of her own clubhouse. Yeah. That's on yeah. her family's land. Well, dream logic yeah. rarely makes sense. So her mysterious observer repeats the cutie removal only for Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo to ditch Apple Bloom again because they now have their marks but we never see. Which seems like such a tease. The Brony oh. fam has been speculating on their marks for ages now and it'd be nice to at least... Uh, at least... Yeah, why are you... Ah! <laughs> ah, identity crisis! Dream number three features Apple Bloom awakening with a new porpoise. <laughs> and it turns out the others are against having her as part of the core family. Jeez. Truth is, Apple Bloom, it's your cutie mark. Whoa, we've hit season one levels of dialogue for the big guy. <laughs> and we don't have room for non-apples. Nope. And now it's like G1 Ninja Turtles. I think Joe <laughs> Bloom has a nice ring to it. Oh, criminy, my mind brain. It'd be a world yeah. gone topsy-turvy. <laughs> <laughs> so when Apple Bloom wakes up to mark after mark upon her flank, she's had just about enough, and so have I. I demand yeah. to know who's behind this attack on my psyche. I am gonna give them such a. Haha! <laughs> 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 the button has been doubled. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yes, we complete the dream team with Luna shedding mm -hmm. some light on Apple Bloom's shadow. Her own fear yeah. has been driving her nuts. Sometimes we can worry about a thing so much the fear can make us feel like we're trapped in a nightmare. Sometimes literally. Big criticism in yeah. the wake of this episode is how much Luna's changed since, well, she was barely there for season one. This is more a yeah. season two comparison. No longer the bombastic yeah. and hyperactive character we've seen in Luna eclipsed in the comics, she's mm. become more composed and guiding. There have been comparisons yeah. to Celestia, though I still find Luna's style more direct and personable. And since this mm -hmm. growth happened off screen, we don't enjoy a sense like of Luna. experiencing it ourselves. I enjoyed the eclipsed mm. version of Luna for how non-traditional she behaved while, funny enough, yeah. insisting on outdated traditions. Yet I'm yeah. glad they didn't carry that personality across three seasons. This isn't the kind mm. of behavior one should expect from a leader, and Luna is the second most prominent leader after Celestia. To each their yeah. own, and I'm still a Luna fan. Though I gotta yeah. say, showing off the dreams of others willy-nilly? Privacy? What's that? We get to see Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo face their own fears as they start off dreaming about what they enjoy the most, which just confirms one thing. Fluttershy was right. Maybe you'll have a lovely little dream about your special talent. Never oh. doubt the shy one. And so it's time for <laughs> Luna to gather the crusader she's been mentoring this far for a group meeting. And can I just say how much this scene means? This is a pony who what? fell into darkness because she was feeling neglected and no one was feeding her ego. Now look at her. She seems to be taking genuine delight in her work. But not as much yeah, as Scootaloo, nice. who gets to realize a goal that hasn't oh, yeah. been possible in the waking world. So, hang on. If you know it's a dream, then you have power that others may not. And there are doors that can lead you into the dreams of others? Oh ho ho! Silver? <laughs> okay, you three. This is not oh. a proper substitute for actual self-confidence. But, um, who wouldn't want to abuse this power? The challenge now is yeah. to get in as many rounds of badminton as you can before they wake up. Go forth, my children. <laughs> so we're in bad influence. Oh, yeah. You never corrupted the youth before? It's fun! Uh, I don't know how that works, oh, he's but the whatever. This episode tackles yeah. a lot. Several distinct fears, questions about cutie marks previously unaddressed, and some nice development for Crusaders plus off-screen development for Babs. It's not as stylized as previous dream sequences, but a lot of the fun lies in the yeah. subtle differences. The multiple versions oh. of breakfast prepared oh, by yeah, Applejack, the... the fact that her hat comes and goes, and sometimes oh, the yeah. subtle subversions, like how a rooster lays an egg or how it appears in a window. I would say Pinkie's appearance was another subversion, except, well, eh, oh, it's Pinkie Pie. Mm -hmm. And of yeah, course, this episode Pie. clearly appeals to many fans because it, it has Luna, 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 greatest person <laughs> <of the world. laughs> He's back. You're obviously a hater because anyone who doesn't agree with me must be a hater. All hail Luna, she will lead the Lunar Republic, <laughs> even though the Republic's leaders are elected. So making her de facto ruler completely undermines oh this God. idea, but who cares because it's Luna! Oh no! And this, dear viewers, is why you have to keep your inner fanboy in check. I'm Silver Quill. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hey, well. Good start. Dark Woman Mage. <laughs> oh, their appearance is very nice. Let's see, graphics. Okay. Well, that's a nice artwork. <gasps> oh my gosh! That's my drawing! Holy crap! That's the drawing I did with Silver Quill Black Griffin! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's really cool. You see what the future of that. Hey. I'll show you like a bigger version here in Smith. Oh my god, that's cool. Okay, so that was after the fact. Bloom, bloom. And yeah, that was a pretty enjoyable episode. Um, yeah, so I really liked um, all the things Silicor had to say about all uh, the episode. And especially like all the little dream, dream sequences he had in the episode, like multiple. And then like in the beginning, show of using like rerunning jokes back um, uh, for, for our friends number 13 with all the uh, Bruce style re uh, parody references, especially Alcard there. That's pretty funny. And I'm wondering if he had about taking over camp a lot. That was pretty enjoyable. And also a continuity because yeah, he got the Alcorn Emily from um, and uh, from the train 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 uh, episode and such. And that was pretty enjoyable. And yeah, uh, like Dr. Wolves and Mage's appearances there. And yeah, at the very end there, they actually showed like some, some fan fan art I did with Silkcore and Black Griffin. So yeah, I was showing like a big version here. And yeah, I made that like back in January, and now I was able to feature it. But I can also. I'll imagine that yeah, he can only show like a few artworks, so I can imagine he has like a bunch, a bunch of them, and then he, yeah, he's only able to feature a few of them in each of his videos. So that's still very cool. He's able to uh, feature um, my my artwork in this episode. Yeah, that's very cool. So thanks a lot, Silver Girl. Uh, it's very very cool. And um, yeah, like I said 
the beer again. Uh, this isn't my uh wasn't my like uh, uh favorite episode, but it isn't like uh, like my least like entire least favorite like of the season so far. It's still a very enjoyable episode, so I still like uh, so cool was able to uh, do his take on the episode. And it's not like the worst episode or anything. Uh, that's that's no, I don't think that. But yeah, it's still a very enjoyable episode when I did. It. And yeah, it's just like so cool was review on. So overall, this review was. Uh, very fun to watch. I def I liked how you featured my fan at the end there, so cool. So thanks again, and uh, a good work on this video. It's very good. So overall, it's end this reaction video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to for more videos, and leave a comment down below. Says what video I strike to next. So overall, it's end this video. Hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.